Hey, what's going on, guys? We're running back on our video today. We're going to take a look at Plain Edge's Vincent Cal uh, Cavalieri. Before we get into this, guys, I just want to say like, subscribe, and comment down below, and thank you for all your support lately. So let's check this guy out, see how he does, and let's see what he can prove on for his senior season. You know, this is a, you know, I'm not going to say like that much right here. You know, this is a bad throw. You know, he couldn't get it off right there. You know, this isn't, he's not covering anybody. Does make a nice opportunity out of a play, out of a bad play right there. He got to the six right there. Oh. Okay, makes a nice pick right there, you know. Gets in front of it, you know. It's not always like the best throws. Gets a huge... Huge return out of it right there. It's a huge momentum change, definitely, it seems like. You know, this is definitely like a bad throw by the quarterback. Able to get underneath it and make a play right there. You know, this isn't like it was just thrown right to him. And we did have to make a little bit of a play right there to make, to make, to get the pick. Okay. Okay, did get a hand up there, you know. Looks like he's... Eh, didn't really get beat, but, you know, able to get up there. You know, could have easily... Could have possibly gotten a pass interference if he would have pushed him a little bit. You know, I'm not going to say that much. You know, it was a good, clean play. You know, didn't... But the one thing I'm saying is, like, you know, he could have turned... Tried to get around, turn around, because he didn't look at the ball. So then, you know, just in case... Okay. You don't catch that. No, nah, no, nah, man. You do not make a play like this. Like, you're coming in. This is a play that's like, you need to pick this off. You need to pick this off. He easily just put one hand up there. Like, you know, that's a play that you probably should pick off right there. You know, he seems like he has that athletic ability to be able to do that. Like, okay. Huh? And I'm not going to say that this is the cleanest of plays. It does seem like, you know, he had, he, the receiver had no shot at catching it right there. You know, if he even had a chance of catching it, it would have been a little bit ahead, you know. Does a nice job, you know. Right when he sees the ball is thrown, you see his foot, he steps in, he steps, he's his back foot plants it and gets upfield. You know, able to do that, it seems like. Okay. I, I don't like this. I don't like, because he, he goes for the shoulder to try and block it right there, and I just don't like when they do that. That's just not, it's just not something I like. Able to get off it, make a nice tackle, you know, does get a little bit too low right here, you know. Gets down and is almost down to the ground before he makes contact. Allows him to get a few extra yards right there. Does a nice job. Able to get up there, you know. Right here, he does it. He makes contact. Feet are still up when he makes contact, and he's not he's not allowing him to get through him. You know, that's what he's got to do for all, the, all, all his tackles is make sure that his He's not on the ground, so he does. So he's able to push the guy back in a certain way to make a play. You'll see what he does in the return game. No, actually, let me see. Cause okay, I thought he stood there for a little bit too long. No, didn't I? No, does a nice job. Able to get outside. You could easily see, like you know. Definitely, like, I would have continued to try and, like, I would have stepped in and then tried to step back out right here. Because you see that everybody sees that you're cutting in. Everybody's coming in this way. I would have tried to cut out. Like, I know he makes a huge play out of this. You know, gets, a, gets takes it into the end zone right there. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm talking about in other plays, you know, in other situations where, you know, it might be different because, you know, there's different opportunities 
and different chances because things are different all the time. You could get, you could look the exact same one time, but you know, you need your play to always work every time. He has a nice job, you know, does a nice job, you know. You see, he comes up, you know, you take a look. He didn't, he, he, he went too far upfield in a way where it wasn't as easy of an angle. He could have gotten the sack right there if he would have, wouldn't have went up too much upfield. Because you take a look, you see, he didn't, he kind of like came a little bit too far upfield instead of taking, because like he had, he had a solid angle when he first came in right here. You know, he comes in, then he stops to go outside, and then he's, he comes up too much, you know, which caused, you know, he could have gotten a sack right there. Like, you take a look, you know, went too far upfield right here, you know, especially as a, in this play as an outside linebacker, I would say, you know, I'd say... Try and not come a little as much upfield as he did because you know, doing so, he gave him you know so much more time and ability to get from this because he, you know, you know, when did because he was able to he'd have to step back and actually chase the guy down in a way because you see he turned he was going up and then he had to turn and go back instead of running right through him and it allowed him to actually get dragged a little bit and gain a lot more yardage than what he should have gotten. You know, does a nice job right here, you know. Comes up field, you know. What I am going to say is you take a look, you know. You know, he stopped right here instead of running completely through with it, through him, in a sense. Comes up field, you know. Sheds him off, you know. Doesn't take a nice pursuit angle, I will say, because you see, you take a look, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's trying to pursue him. But it's, it, he wasn't aware of it, of his surroundings, and even if he was continuing to pursue him, he, it really seemed like, because he missed, he, he over-pursued him right there, and I feel like the guy hitting him actually slowed him down and allowed him to actually make that play. You know, you see, he, he takes on this block right here, which, you know, in a sense, you want to do, but you also just want to try and get to him. You don't want to be, like, taking on a block like that, especially as a free safety. You know, you see right here, he he, he goes for the tackle, but the guy's almost in, fully in front of him. He over-pursues. That's, that's his issue. He, he's able to make plays, but, you know, He's over pursuing a lot, which isn't causing, which isn't allowing him to be as good as he could be. Right here, he does a nice job, you know, allows him to make a nice play, you know, does a great job right there. Uh, does a does a great job, like he gets up there, makes a play, but he gets dragged. You easily see that. Let's take a look, you know, doesn't do a nice drop step, you know, makes it, but you know, he doesn't come up field as fast as he should be, especially on this like little, uh. Run wide out screen. He comes off field, you know, and kind of gets dragged right there. And you, you just don't want to get dragged. You need to, you can't go down right away and do that. You know, can't be doing that. You know, let's see what he does here. You know, comes up field, you know, comes up, but he gets, he kind of like comes a little bit too far upfield on this play. You take a look, you know, he comes up field, even though it's a run, he comes up field way too much for the play. You know, okay, right here, he comes outside, but, you know, you see he's he's a little bit too patient sometimes. Makes a nice tack for a loss right there. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, he comes up field, you know, but you see right here, he stops his feet. Stops his feet. Comes up, but he stops his feet, and he doesn't run through the guy. I, I, You need to run through the guy if you want to make a good tackle. There's a guy bigger than you who's going to push you back, and you do that. Okay, another time, like like right here, you see he comes up, sees that it's a quarterback run, comes up, you know, and kind of slows down when he gets close to him. You need to run full speed through your guy. You know, if you're going to make a nice tackle, you know, you got to be able to run through your opponent. 
You know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta run through your opponent. It doesn't seem like he's doing that that often. Like right here, you see? Take a look. This is just, this is just not something you do. Look, he gets down on his side. Almost has one knee on the ground before even getting close to making contact. Guy's able to get a few extra yards because he doesn't make a complete tackle and get in front of him and actually bear hug him to the ground like he should be. Right here, he stops. He stops his feet. You see, this kid, he, he seems like he's strong, but, you know, he, he's not moving. Guy's able to run through him and get, like, a, you know, you should be able to push him back right there. I don't care what you're doing. You know, if you're going to make a tackle like that, you best be prepared to get hit. Because you're, run, you're, you're letting him hit, hit you, you know. You come up field, but you, you right here, you almost, you whip the tackle in a certain way. He whiffs the tackle, like, look. Right here, almost whiffs the tackle completely. And he's able to get a few extra yards on this, because he almost whiffed the tackle. But, you know, this kid's a solid player in a way. You know, definitely needs to improve on his tackling. His coverage is okay. But, you know, his tackling needs to get there, because it really seems like a, halfway through it just showed that he was just like, you know, he was, he was getting, making tackles in a sense, but he wasn't making tackles and making them and getting them in the right spots where he needed to be. Like, he could have been getting a lot more tackles for a loss or not getting pushed over, you know. But, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and check out the podcast. Peace.